Okay. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Jurassic June, and welcome to Combat of Giants, also known as Battle of Giants in North America, Dinosaur Strike. <laughs> Today we're playing a dinosaur fighting game. That's right. There's actually quite a number of fighting games. Let me go with the volume a little bit on my end. Just, there we go. Um, there's actually a lot of dinosaur fighting games. Hello, Conga. Um, there's this. There's Warpath, the Jurassic Park fighting game. There was another Jurassic Park fighting game called Dinosaur Battles, released for Jurassic Park 3. There's uh, Dino Rex, an arcade game from the uh, late 80s. There's, of course, Primal Rage. Everyone loves Primal Rage. The original Dinosaur King game. It's a fighting game. And, uh, yeah. Dinosaur fighting games are semi-popular. And this one, well, it's part of a larger franchise where you, well, create your own big monster, in this case a dinosaur, uh, and uh, duke it out. Now, the main series is actually on um, DS and 3DS, and it's more like an adventure game, RPG kind of thing, uh, whereas this is just a traditional fighting game one-on-one. -on -one. Well, I say traditional, it doesn't really play like a traditional one, but you'll see. We also have customization. Exactly. As always, do let me know if the audio levels are off. Uh, so, we can actually create a new dinosaur. So, I have to pick a base dino. We have a T Rex, we have a Carnotaurus, uh, we have a Psychominus, a Baryonyx, a Ceratosaur, uh, an Allosaurus, a Velociraptor, an Oviraptor, uh, a Trudon, a Triceratops, a Styraxosaurus, uh, a Chasmosaurus. An Ankylosaurus, a Scolosaurus, a Gastonia, a Stegosaurus, a Decentrurus, uh, a Wurhosaurus, and we're back at T Rex. Um, so, what should we pick? I actually made a Baryonyx um, earlier to test out the game ahead of time. Uh, but I kind of feel like playing some kind of carnivore. Um, maybe a. Let's go with a Ceratosaurus. A, Cer a Ceratosaur. Sorry. Need a name for Sarah. Oh, well, actually. That's perfect. There we go. Sarah. So I really, I really do like this that you can actually like customize the dinosaurs, because I think it adds a lot of fun to it. Like, this is a uh, kid. Oh. Give some graph having some graphic glitches there. Let me quickly fix that. What could be causing that? Is it? No, that's even worse. Okay, this was not an issue like just a little while ago. Okay, that fixed it. Alright, so let's see, we want... Wait, no, it's still happening. What is going on? It was literally working perfectly before I... Uh... Before I started streaming, this is so frustrating. None of the settings are affecting it. Getting really fucking tired of every game I decide to, like, play on this stream, just breaking somehow the moment I start trying to actually play it. Maybe it's only the, um, maybe it's only the, um, Serotar that, um, 
the Ceratosaurus that is being strange. Actually, let's let's go check the one that I built earlier. It was working fine. Like, I don't understand. I did several test runs and everything. This one seems to work fine. Okay. So may maybe it is just a Ceratosaur that's wonky. I mean, that's unfortunate because I like the Ceratosaur, but. Yeah, this seems to be working just fine. Hmm. Huh. Okay, let's try again. Let's try to pick some other dinosaur. Let's pick um, a Carnotaurus. And uh, I'm not even gonna think up a name. I'm just gonna steal one from Jurassic Park to make sure that it works. Yeah, it seems to be working. Maybe it's just like an actual bug. No, it is specifically the Ceratosaurus. That is so strange. Well, okay then. I guess we will not be um, playing with the Ceratosaurus. Um, that sucks. What dinosaur should we pick then? It's like a minus, maybe? Allosaurus. Let's go with an Allosaurus. And we'll name her Alice. Now watch the Allosaurus be bugged out as well. That would, that would be just my luck. No, oh, seems to be working. Alright, let's see. What do we want color-wise? That blue looks pretty nice. I kind of wish it was like a pink. This is, there is a purple, which is something, I guess, but... Yeah, we're gonna go with that. That looks good. So, I mentioned that this uh, this fighting game is not exactly traditional. Um, and that is because... Um, let me just check the volume real quick here. The game seems a little low. And that is because it doesn't have, like, traditional fighting game controls. Um... Instead, you simply have like a simple combo starting system with light and heavy attacks. Um, and like, Versus. it leads into automatic Dilophosaurus. attacks afterwards. Doesn't look like a Dilophosaurus. Where's the big fins? Like the, the fins that fan out. Here we are, Alice, ready for battle. Round one, fight.
fight. Yeah, so if you look at this, you, it, in the lower left corner of the screen, it actually tells you like how you can continue the combo. If I okay, I missed there, but if I if I if I don't miss there, it tells me that I can press B A B for a combo. And if I succeed at landing a full a, a three part combo, I actually get like a follow up attack. So it's partially about getting those in, sort of a simplified combo system. Combo. But it's also about, damn it, getting so called dino strikes in, which you can get by ending up in a, in a dino clash, which almost happened there. I will explain how those work when we get to them. I missed. Yeah, this is blocking. Combo. Oh, that's a combo right there, so... Oh, okay, that was actually a pretty bad combo. Ah! Combo. The combos for the uh, Allosaurus is different from the ones on the Baryonyx. <laughs> There was BAA, here is BAB, so I keep pressing the wrong ones. Combo. There we go. KO. Didn't get a Dino Clash there, though. Round two. Now the stage is smaller. Combo. This is actually surprisingly easy. Uh, they, they, they made the first dinosaur pretty bad at dodging. I played uh, random versus battles uh, to make sure the game was working and I got my ass kicked every round. And here I'm actually like not getting my ass kicked, so that feels pretty good. Combo. Dino okay, here we go. So now I have to wiggle the weird mode nunchuck. And... Wow, okay. That didn't work as it was supposed to. There we go. Yeah, I have the Nunchuck and Wii Remote mapped to the um, um, analog sticks. So I, I completely failed that, otherwise I would have gotten like a big, nice, fancy cutscene attack. Dino class. And I'm defending. Break up. I was about to say, they didn't say my name, but uh, f of course they did. That wouldn't work. Evolution. Alright, so we want more damage, health, or better strike. I think we want more damage. My experience playing the game in versus mode um, was that damage is probably the main thing you want to Try and upgrade. Allosaurus versus Triceratops. Now we have spikes. Really? The Triceratops has a combo that's just three A's in a row? 
Wow. I watch out for the stage hazards as well, which is not always the easiest thing to do. Ah, shit. At least I have a strike. Ready. Okay, let's hope this works out better this time. Ah, I missed one. Ah! It's not perfect trying to map, um, like... Oh, my controller just unplugged itself. That's even worse. Come on. Get control back. Get control back. There we go. Or not. There we go. Um, it's really hard mapping shaking controls to a stick in Dolphin. It doesn't really tend to work that well. Um, especially when like the game wants you to specifically waggle the controls like up and down. Like I have it mapped to do that, but it doesn't always work out. I'm playing with a PS3 controller in case anyone was wondering. Normally I would use the uh, DualShock 4 instead, because I prefer that, but it tends to not work well. Like, a lot of the times it just stops working and doesn't want to register. I was using it yesterday when playing um, um, uh, Jurassic The Hunted, but um, today um, it just wouldn't work, so I had to plug in my PS3 controller instead. Speaking of, I had a fun little video today Evolution. comparing all the versions of Jurassic the Hunted. Oh, we got some armor. With this game, I have played almost every dinosaur game that's on the Wii. <laughs> like, I'm not sure which ones I have left. Like, this Go Diego Go Dinosaur Rescue. That's the one I haven't played yet. Fight. 
Oh, I messed up my combo. Combo. Ah. Are you kidding me? At least the Dino Clash part seems to work pretty well. I haven't gotten any ring out yet. Combo. You get you get quite some leeway with the second part of a combo, but not the third part of a combo. Dino class. Dino strike. Oh shit. I don't like this as much as a as Warpath, which I might stream some night. Uh, Warpath is the uh, Jurassic Park uh, fighting game. It's really cool. Released in '97 or '98, I think. Little better at these, I say, and this too. I thought that was a hit, honestly. Combo. There we go. Combo. Hey oh, I thought that was gonna be a ring out, actually. We're so close to the edge. Versus 
of the raptors are known to be egg stealers. If I remember correctly. I think like the villains of the second land before time so were over over raptors, I could be wrong. They were definitely egg stealers though. Ring them out. I figured you would have to be able to, considering the arena gets smaller in the second round, but maybe not. Dino Clash. One of the very first dinosaur games were Dino actually. Um, was actually a uh, dinosaur fighting game called uh, Dino Wars for the uh, Tandy uh, Radio Shack 80 computer. It's a really early primitive dinosaur fighting game from um, 1980, I believe. It's very simple, it's a one button fighting game, like dive kick. Round two. Fight. Ah. Oh yeah, you missed uh, the beginning, Louise, but we actually like you, you create your own dinosaur in this game. So we have an we have an Allosaurus here named Alice. And the spikes and armor on her is actually upgrades we've gotten after after the fights. Um, the, in the main Combat of Giants or Battle of Giants um, games, it's more of an RPG, but this, you, this particular one is only a fighting game. And I'm terrible at dodging those stage hazards. The game is basically built up around uh, three button combos, rather three, three hit combos. Because you have to button something up, so you need to actually land each hit, and then you get like a bonus combo afterwards. So it's pretty simplistic, technically, like it's made for pretty young children, but um, it's also like frustratingly difficult at times. And that Ovi Raptor right now has a Dino Clash ready on level 2, which is gonna hurt me a lot if I get hit. Dino Clash. Super oh shit. Well, I'm dead. Oh wait, I actually survived. Oh shit. Yes. Allosaurus win. Yes, I think we're gonna upgrade our strike this time so we can also do a level two strike. Evolution. 
Allosaurus versus T Rex. Well, yeah, Beef took the quality on the stream today as well because I thought it, looked, it was pretty fussy and blurry. Even though I was playing, you know, an HD game. Um, Round one. So hopefully it looks a bit better today. Even though I'm playing a Wii game now, so... You know, but I'm, I actually did upscale it to HD today, even even though it's a Wii game. I didn't do that when I played Dino Strike, because I wanted to actually... I wanted to still feel like the original Wii version, you know? So I kind of like playing it with, like, native resolution and stuff like that. But I also do realize that it looks much worse on stream. So I decided to stop doing that today. Sure, like there, there seems to be some way to like charge up your Dino Strike meter, like just by standing, and I'm not sure how you do that because the game never t haven't told me. Actually, I'm gonna do a quick check of the move list. No, there's no mention of anything here. It's just strong attack, etc., etc. Maybe maybe the MP, maybe the PC or uh, the CPU only like charges up charges it up faster for some reason. I don't know. Ah. place a Spinosaurus but they don't seem to have one which is a shame. The Jurassic Park fighting game has one. Both of them actually. Only missed one there. That's the best one I've gotten so far. Shame wasn't the super strike, so didn't do too much damage. This is going badly. Of course I lose to the T-Rex. Most overrated dinosaur in history. I don't dislike the T-Rex at all by the way, I just... 
I'm tired of T-Rex fanboys who can only think of the T-Rex when they're thinking about cool dinosaurs. Round one. Fight. And who can't handle the T-Rex being defeated in a fight. Jurassic World really pissed me off. The movie, not the cartoon. The cartoon is wonderful. Oh, come on! Dino Dino no! I doesn't have to deal with waggle controls. Except to sticks. <laughs> yeah, I think if I had realized this game used waggle controls for its special moves, uh, I would have picked another game for today. Because I was kind of picking this, like, last minute, because I just wanted to stream something short. <laughs> but I wasn't prepared for that. I was like, oh, I'll map it to the analog sticks. What's the worst, what's the worst that can happen? Round two, fight! Dino Clash! Dino Strike! Okay. Let's see if we can get all on this time. Nope, somehow that one missed, even though I was doing the same motions. I do not understand why it works sometimes and then doesn't. I'm doing the exact same motions on the analog stick. This is actually why I hate waggle controls, or like motion controls in general. Because they're never precise, and like they never work as they should. But even now that I have a map to an analog stick, and they're like just set to do specific commands when I use the analog sticks, they're still like, nope, you failed that. And that's my entire, that's my experience with the Wii library in a nutshell being asked to do specific motions and then the game going, nope. It's not the only reason I don't like Skyward Sword, but it's one major reason. Oh yeah! Die, T-Rex. I'm the queen of the jungle now. Should they should do a new Jurassic Park uh, fighting game. Um, let's go damage. We have so many spikes and stuff now. Ooh, a Velociraptor. It seems the PC or the CPU is always um, uh, one upgrade above you. It seems. Allosaurus versus the Oh, same pattern as the T-Rex. You missed it, but like we actually customized your own pattern. And like you can have silly patterns like stars and flames if you want. <laughs> we were going to play as a Ceratosaurus, uh, as a Ceratosaurus but for some reason it um that that the Ceratosaurus 3D model was like glitched or something. Oh no, it is a different pattern. It's just the uh, image on the... Um... Wait, no, it's the lighting. It's just very green lighting. Or yellow lighting. Combo. That is way too large to be a Velociraptor. That's a Dinonacus. <sighs> exactly. I did, I did make a uh, test dinosaur before, before the stream. It's a Baryonyx called, called uh, Berry. Um, like the thing you eat, not berry, berry. Um, and I made her um, purple and uh, light blue, 
Because there's no pink, unfortunately. There's only light, light purple. Uh, but I made her purple and light blue with stars. Like, she's light blue on... She's light blue um, on the bottom, I think? And then purple on top, and then there's like stars as a gradient down. It's great. But, but I wanted to make a new, new dinosaur for um, the stream, and I also didn't really like how the Baryonyx played. So that's how we made Alice. Because we were going to make Sarah first, which was going to be a Ceratosaurus, but it didn't work. It was glitching. Some kind of emulator problem with that 3D model specifically, it seems. Oh shit. No! Oh no, I think I might have lost the battle because of that. Maybe not. Oh, wait, no, there's one more coming. Oh, fucking drop kicked me. You asshole. You're the second most overrated dinosaur. No, you're not, actually. The Velociraptor is not the second most overrated dinosaur. But it's in the top five. Of course, all the top five most overrated dinosaurs are all still amazing dinosaurs. That's the thing about dinosaurs, there are no bad ones. Top five most overrated dinosaurs, in my opinion, would be uh, T Rex, of course. T Rex is first. T Rex is the king of being overrated. Oh my god, I'm getting my ass kicked again. Um, but then I would probably go with Stegosaurus. Like, no disrespect. Like, Stegosaurus, you're amazing. But, um, you know, you are the second most overrated dinosaur. Uh, and then I would probably pick um, the Triceratops. And again, no disrespect, love the Triceratops. But come on, everyone loves the Triceratops. Then I would probably put the Velociraptor after that. Um, and then the Pterodactyl. Which isn't technically a dinosaur, it's an aviary dinosaur, as I explained yesterday. Aviary dinosaurs, even though it has dinosaurs in the name, are technically not dinosaurs, they're aviary dinosaurs. <laughs> I'm getting better on the motion controls. God, I really hope the quality of this stream is decent so I can get some good screenshots of this game for a thumbnail. <laughs> Because I don't want to have to replay the arcade mode to get screenshots. <laughs> I actually cheated yesterday for the, um, the screenshot for um, uh, Jurassic the Hunted. I was gonna pick from one of the cutscenes with the Spike, the Spinosaurus. Oh no. I am owned. But I decided to pick a screenshot of the Spinosaurus instead, which just looked better. Because it was such a fussy stream. Yeah, I, I'm dead. Mega Strike is overpowered as fuck. <laughs> okay. Final round. Fight. Now try and build build up a super strike this time. Preferably before the raptor gets a mega strike in. Like I don't understand why they build up so much faster than me. Didn't even need the mega strike there. Like I don't know. Like, am I missing something in regards to how to build up the meter faster? Because there wasn't like a tutorial or anything. I just looked at the at the uh, move list and that was it. Like I thought maybe it was because like if you dodged more it would. 
give you more, but... Oh, there's no green lighting now. They changed the time of the level. That's pretty cool. Actually, it's a different level entirely. So I guess the level is randomized. No, I'm not getting anything for missed attacks, so... That's not how you do it. I'm very confused by this combat system now. This is the problem with playing games digitally. I don't have a manual I can check. Like, I guess I can Google it. Or ask Siri. One down. Round two. Fight. Combo. Dino class. Super. Strike. What really? Okay. Yeah. Wow, okay. It feels like now he's gonna get in a mega strike and it's gonna kill me in one hit. I do not understand how the strike thing works. Oh, my controller unplugged again. Wonderful. Hold on. I can't even... There. Paused. Oh my god, I actually made it. 
while well, I paused, but yeah. Took a, it actually did take a while for me to pause, so it was kind of nice that the Velociraptor does not attack me. Evolution. Faster dino strikes. It gives me fins. I'm, I'm, I almost look a little bit like the Spinosaurus. The final boss dino in this tier looks made up. I'm not sure what it is, what's what it's supposed to be, to be honest. Guess we'll find out when I get there. Allosaurus versus Arachosaurus. Wait, but what did you call that? The Rakasaurus? Round one. Fight. I have faster strikes on now. I'm still not, maybe, still not building up my strikes up at all. I, I tried to wiggle my controller there to see if that like built up faster or something. I seem to recall one of the Dragon Ball Z games on Wii having a feature like that. Oh my god. Like, getting the right length in this game for, for your attack is like completely arbitrary, I feel. Maybe I should have mapped the diamond clashes to a button or something instead. Seems like all the dinosaurs have the machine gun yell. Strike at like one percent health. Fucking joke. KO. Styracosaurus. Huh. Round one, fight! Combo. 
maybe this just combos, but I feel like I should have built up better meters. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I've just been trying to do too many hard combos. I got a lot of B combos instead of A combos. So I just haven't had a, an easy way of getting up my Dino Strike meter. <laughs> Still, it's arbitrary if this works or not. I do like the graphics in this game. Like they're very simple, but they're like colorful and bright. I do wish there were more color options for customization, but apart from that, and maybe you unlock more, I don't actually know if you do or not. I did use a bunch of unlock codes to like unlock all like all available dinosaurs and getting a new like two new pairs of strikes for the dinosaurs. Um like you were supposed to use codes to unlock them. Like if you actually went into like the um Dinosaur creation menus like uh, use a code to unlock this dinosaur, use a code to unlock this dinosaur. So I actually looked up the codes online. Um, don't know how you were supposed to find the codes initially, uh, if they were like published in a magazine or something maybe. But um, I did that so I have all the dinosaurs, apart from the ones you have to unlock through playing the game. Oh, come on. No! Super Damn it! And my controller unplugged again in the middle of that. This is why I don't like using my DualShock 3. Because it unplugs a lot, and sometimes when it replugs itself, it likes to like. Final round. Hold on. Fight. Is it working yet? Nope. And sometimes when it unplugs, I like to unplug my microphone as well. Um, that stopped happening since I started using my webcam mic, though. That's gonna hurt. Here we go. Super Completely arbitrary if it works or not. Dino oh, my God. Break up. I did not think that was gonna work. Mega strike! And the controller unplugged itself! <laughs> Fuck my life, I want to die. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I lost my entire fucking mega strike as a result.
Oh yeah, no, here comes the super strong CPU. Oh, okay, I guess I, I'm allowed to live for a little while longer. Just kill me with a regular combo instead, why don't you? I mean, might as well. Who the fuck cares? Yep, there we go. Fucking USB cables. Allosaurus versus the Rakasaurus. Round one, fight. How the fuck does the CPU already have like half the bar up when I'm the only one who's gotten like part way through a combo? Like, like what the fuck is that? Domination. Like, it's literally that the cable falls out of the controller because the PS3 wasn't designed to use a fucking cord. It was supposed to be wireless. So why would you have it plugged in when you're playing and you would only do that when you're charging it, right? So, like, it just fucking unplugs itself. Did I turn off vibration? There's no vibration. Simulation. I would have to activate vibration, then I haven't. Like... Oh, fuck you. Besides, the PS3 didn't have rumble. Well, okay, I guess the DualShock 3 did, actually, and uh, I don't remember if I'm using a 6-axis for DualShock 3. Because I never actually played PS3, so... I mean, I guess I could just look on top of it, but... The thing is, like, when I'm using my analog stick like this, like, slapping it up to simulate shaking the controller, it literally shakes the controller, and as a result, it starts shaking out the USB cord. So the USB isn't like, it doesn't like fit properly and stick into the controller, it just sort of slides in, because it's badly designed. Round two, fight! I would use my DualShock 4, but it doesn't work. It just, like, it's, it, stopped, it stopped being recognized by my computer today. It worked yesterday. Perfectly. Used it for the entirety of the stream last night. But now it's just not even recognizing that it's being plugged in. So, you know. That's wonderful. Break up. I think I went through all that before the stream yesterday, and now it's just not working again. 
Like it doesn't even like it doesn't even show up like it as as like unknown USB item. Like it doesn't even list itself in the device information. So like I'm not sure what to do about that. Um health. Ankylosaurus, all right. Gonna try and pour myself some to, to drink during this opening cutscene. Allosaurus versus Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus. God, I fucking hate the American pronunciation. This is a European made game and it's still well wait, no. It's been in Quebec, so it's actually North America. Round one. I was thinking Ubisoft Fight. French, but like no, this was banned by Ubisoft Quebec. I checked that ahead of time when I was writing out the description information on the stream. Combo. I also knew it from writing the IGDB. Entry for the game. Combo. Ouch. Anki's are also like pretty Dino popular. Dino. They're probably like six overrated dinosaur. They're not overrated enough to be on the top five, but they're up there. Wow. Dino Clash. Hello, Crispies. Super Strike. Well, no, chickens taste like dinosaur. Not the other way around. Dinosaurs came first. Uh, technically, dinosaurs are closer to turkeys than chicken, though, if we're going to be really accurate. Um, but yeah, our current birds evolved from uh, and the non-avian dinosaurs. The aviary dinosaurs actually didn't um, evolve into anything that lives now, funnily enough. Round two, fight! Damn it. You took his bits. Ah, damn it. I really wish this game had ring out so you could, like, just cheaply knock <laughs> the CPU off the ring. Oh my god, how am I supposed to beat this one? And Kylo Sword. Dino 
Dino Strike. Oh, come on. God, like, the Anki does so much damage with just a regular hit. The 125. Ah, oh, almost. So close. I was so close. Most of them. This is going worse than usual. I hate motion controls. No, what? No, no, it happened again. <sighs> uh, I'm so tired of this. Okay, it's working. Like, why am I not going into Dino Strike? There. Break up. Oh, are you kidding me? Dino Mega no. Oh, what the fuck ever. Domination. Uh, we can do this as long as the controller doesn't plug itself and we actually don't fuck up the dino strikes. Round one. Fight. Kind of frustrating that like combo. I notice that a lot of the opponent dinosaurs here have just yes, pressed the same button combos. Combo. And I don't. At least I'm thinking of it. I have A A B, I have A B A, and I have B A B. Dino 
And like, yeah, that's already pretty simple, so like, what am I really complaining about? What? But like... You know, when the computer, who is a computer, have easier combos than you, it's... It feels a little unfair. Cause, you know, it's the computer, they don't have to... Even attempt to have human feats. I'm getting worse at the clash part. I think if like, if there was a, if it wasn't for the motion controls, I wouldn't have any problem with the combat in this game. Because that's where like I don't get any of the bonus damage that I'm supposed to be getting, because I just can't do the motion controls. And I guess it wouldn't be as bad with actual mo like an actual remote and uncheck, but like, why would you design a game like that? Because even if I was playing with a Wii Remote and Nunchuck, oh wow, thank you, Stage Hazard. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't be guaranteed that it would work, you know? Like, you can never know for sure that the... That the uh, shake is registered properly. I mean, you can tell that here, because I have mapped uh, the sticks to shake the controller. So, like, they, the controller is being shaken. And the game isn't recognizing it all the time. Uh, I was very hit and miss, but oh well. I'll take it. Combo. Yeah, they did say the uh, meteor killed the dinosaurs, and I guess it was true in this case. Combo. Well, in fact, not the meteor. It was probably a meteor alongside several Combo. other things that caused a major extinction event, but. Yeah. Yes. Oh, come on. Please. No. God damn it. Here we go. Mega strike. Oh, god damn it. Oh, it's better than nothing. As long as I can keep, keep Anki from doing a clash, a strike, I mean, it should be fine. No, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Maybe not. Maybe I can get out of this. It's gonna be tight. Normally in fighting games, like, they're, like, there's, like, you know, they're, you, it's, it's made sure to be even, like, it's supposed to be a fair fight, but in this game it's designed that the opponent is always one step above you, in terms of, like, some kind of evolutionary trait. No! Please! No! I fucking hate this! It's a fucking herbivore. Allosaurus versus Ankylosaurus. All because of bullshit quick time events. Round one. Fight. <sighs> Combo.
I know class. Break up. What I mean by like it being uneven is look at the health bars. It has almost twice as much health as I do. Yeah, this game is Ubisoft. It's Ubisoft Quebec. Oh, fuck off. There are a few games in the Combat of Giants series, and four of them are about dinosaurs. Um, there's one just called Dinosaur, which is for Nintendo DS, and then there's like um, sort of a semi spin off sequel to that one, really. Okay. Um, called Fight for Survival, uh, which was on DSiWare, so it's no longer available. Um, and then um, there's this one, Dinosaur Strike. Um, which is often listed as Dinosaur Singular Strike, that's not the name, it's Dinosaur Strike. Um, I've seen many official game databases like listed wrong and it's really frustrating. Um, and then there was Dinosaur 3D for Nintendo 3DS. There's also Dragons, um, and then one with giant insects. But I don't care about those because they're not dinosaurs. Break up. <sighs> Combo. Combo. Dino class. Like, I don't know how to initiate the clash, it just seems to happen randomly. I thought it was A, B at the same time, but it doesn't seem to work half the time. What? <laughs> it's just completely random if it works or not. It is completely a buttfuck random every time. Combo. Dino class. Super strike. I'm actually gonna remap it. I'm gonna remap it to um, something else. KO. Uh, let's see, it's... Ankylosaurus, win. It wants me to do it on the Y-axis. See, so I'm gonna put that on... ...that button. Let's see. I'm gonna... ...up... The frequency a bit. No more than that. Oh, the controller unplugged itself again. Fucking wonderful! Wow, I love I love how this works. Now I have to wait until it reconnects. Hopefully that will work. Okay, so that's one button. And then I will do it on that. And I will set that to what did I put this on? 22 centimeters, 13 hertz. All right. Um, I 
What if it should be inverted? Does that matter? It doesn't seem like it. it. Seems to be the same way regardless. Let's hope this works. I'm gonna let's see, I'm gonna remove those. Those buttons don't do anything. Alright. I'm gonna make sure the control is plugged in. And we're gonna try again. Now I've just mapped it to a button. So not even the randomness of analog sticks should be an issue now. Round one. Fight! I did consider playing the other Combat Giant games, but uh, because they're DS and 3DS, they won't look good when you stream them. Because they're two screens. It kind of sucks that all of those games are like just kind of impossible to do, to do easy ports, so they're just bound to forever be lost to time. Well, it seems to work for the breakup at least. game time. Well, one didn't work. One seems to work perfectly, and the other doesn't seem to work at all. Why is that? I set them to the exact same settings. Button X, intensity 22 centimeters, frequency 13 hertz. Why? 22 centimeters, 13 hertz. Does it need to be bigger for the Wii remote? I don't see why it would be. I'm gonna try doing it inverted. This to 32 and up to frequency to 16. Now, it's, now it shakes even more. So hopefully that will make it work. Because for the nunchuck it worked perfectly. Combo. Dino class. Break up. Combo. Combo. Ah, that's a regular knockout. Please work this time. Okay, some of those were missed. We are mode still not working. Oh, one of those counted. This is this is even more arbitrary now. I think I should change it back to what it was probably. This is the issue of motion control stuff. It's like when it says like shake the controller, what is it act what, what is it actually checking for? Is it checking for Y movement, X movement, the Z movement, all of them at once? Is it checking to check if the Wii remote is being uh, turned at all while it's being moved? Is it checking if it's being moved forward or backwards? Fuck. Like shake is not a command. 
check is not something you can just register. You need to specify. And you do that, of course, when you code the game. But... When you translate that to what the, uh, what the user needs to know, if you just tell them shake the controller, well, it doesn't mean anything. I'm gonna try to change it now. I'm gonna change it so that when I press the button, it shakes in all directions. It just completely loses its mind. Just starts shaking in all directions at once. It's making silly lines in the, test in the testing thing on the controller settings. I'm gonna have to find something that works, because you like... The game needs me to be able to use the um, strike system if I'm going to win. Round one, fight! I'm pretty sure that Eternal Darkness just works perfectly on Dolphin. I wouldn't imagine it doesn't. I mean, I can see other people, other things being an issue, like the game just controlling badly, but that's, a, that's just an inherent problem of Eternal Darkness. Game controls terribly. Okay, this seems to be going worse than before. This isn't good. Finally got it working. I think we actually got it working. It's worse during the clash part now though, which is problematic for other reasons, because it means we won't be able to break out of the attacks as easily. He's, uh, like, the dodge Round jump two. is so finicky, like, trust me, it is not easy to use, but the CPU just always somehow dodges at the perfect moment, even though you basically need to, like, know that the opponent is about to attack to do it, which is why I was waiting for the opponent to attack. Oh, great. I'm never gonna beat this fight, am I? This isn't even the final boss. This game. Like, surely it can't be that, like, motion control sided. But that's the only reason I'm doing it wrong. There's gotta be something I'm just missing. Granted, it's not like Ubisoft are known for fighting games, so, like. I guess it could just be a bad fighting game. <laughs> but... Dino Dino I 
Yeah, so the Dino, the Dino Clash part is just useless now. I cannot win those. I was pretty decent at winning those earlier. I might actually be worse off with this than when I couldn't use the controls properly. The thing is, I think what it wants to do, actually, I think it tries to, like, detect swings. So, like, you're actually swinging it back and forth rather than just shaking it. Problem is, you can't con you can't just put that into a command on Dolphin. Because that's not how Wii Remotes actually send out signals. There is no swing signal. So, like, it's arbitrary. Like, this is this is going to work. I can't win. Because I either had to give up special attacks or give up being able to win these encounters. And I have to win both, otherwise I can't win the game. It is possibly not doable without actual motion controls because of how it's been programmed. It could just be the sore loser in me talking, I guess, but from what I can tell of how the game functions, that's it. Because the game isn't communicating any other and anything else to me to suggest that there's something else that's wrong. Okay, somehow it worked there. I mean, I'm not even sure why. I did it the same way I did it before, and then it didn't work. I'm gonna try removing the X, um, the X uh, axis from the thing, and see if that somehow makes it more, make, if that makes it register more Kylo like a swing. <sighs> this was supposed to be a shorter stream. It's already longer than the first stream. Round one, fight. Combo. That's not working at all. Although I wonder if it's because I was into changing between them, as if it was like a, a proper quick time event instead of just pressing both buttons simultaneously. That could be it. I might be thinking too traditional com control wise. Wait, five hours medium? We did it in three hours. Am I that good at that game? <laughs> Finally, a game I'm good at. Oh yeah, this much. Okay, actually no, I can't. I can't tell if it works better here or not because it's always easier during the attack clashes. So I'm not gonna take out victory ahead of time. But really, like I'm at, uh, like five hours because we did it in three hours. Well, under three hours even. Oh yeah, this, this kind of works actually, okay. 
I mean, I'm gonna die now because I didn't real I realized it too late. But we might have something here. But cool, I'm good at Wrath of the Hunted. Part of me wants to like do a long play of it for every system, just because I have it for every system. Well, except PS3. Uh, well, actually, I, no, I, could, I, could, I could do it on actual console on PS3, I guess. But, um... Then I think about having to deal with, like, Wii controls, and I don't know. I think the RPG would be great if it was like a PC game so I could a aim better, but since I had to use the control stick to aim, I found the RPG to just miss more than it hit. Otherwise I'm sure damage wise it's the most effective one, yeah. damage with regular attacks like I'm not sure how I can even we win this I should have not I should not have spent the points on the strike thing should have put it into health that's too late now you can't like put the stats back without just starting a new dinosaur I didn't think it would end up in this kind of trouble against fucking herbivore It really bothers me how well it dodges, because dodging is useless whenever I do it. Like, I spammed the dodge button there and didn't do anything. Like, it does the same attack every time. It dodges and hits, and because it starts to hit while I'm in between... Wow. Well, I'm like in locked, in, in like locked frames. It hits me the moment I'm vulnerable again, and I can't like guard, I can't dodge, I can't attack. Which, you know, fair enough. But a normal human being wouldn't be that, wouldn't know like exactly when to hit the dodge button that well because you have to do it like perfectly as the opponent attacks and you can't, you know, it's not really telegraphed. Unless you're watching your opponent's controller, I guess. 
Nice, all of them. I mean, I still didn't do enough damage, but, you know. Take what you can get, I guess. No, you don't. No! Every fucking time, the same dodge attack that you can't do anything about. Take it back, Ankylosaurus is in the top three most overrated dinosaurs. You know, who cares? I mean, it's not like I dodged it there or anything. Like, why, why not have him get hit by it anyway? I mean, I think only the CPU should be allowed to dodge. That seems like good game design. Domination. Allosaurus. There's some kind of challenges in games that makes you feel more motivated to beat them, and there's some kind of challenges in games that just makes you angry and play worse. This is the latter. I 
I don't know if you saw that, but what just happened was I got hit by the fucking stage hazard, but the computer just didn't. Even though they stood in the same fucking fire. Didn't get hurt by the stage hazard until after I hit the, them into the fire even more. Satisfying victory ever. And that's the thing, like when it's bullshit like this, it's not satisfying to win, it's just annoying. And what the fuck is this? It looks like a dying dragon more than a dinosaur. I didn't get an upgrade? Archosaurus. Allosaurus versus. That's not a real dinosaur. Well, if it is, it, doesn't, it did not look like that. health as the Ankylosaurus did. Which is odd considering it had max on all the evolutionary traits, it should. Why didn't my dinosaur strike go through first?
Are you fucking kidding me? It doesn't even have like like the, the announcer doesn't even say the name of it. That's how fake of a dinosaur it is. Allosaurus versus Round One Fight Only there can only be one purple fake looking dinosaur. With spikes and fins. Ridiculous. How am I supposed to? I really wish they didn't have the slowdowns in this. Like, I know it's for the QTEs, but like. When the AI does them, you don't need to do it. Like, you can just speed it up. Let me continue playing the game. to see how that goes. What I don't get is why didn't I get to like customize it? Like I wonder if I can change the stats if we're going to customize here. Because I kinda regretted some of the stuff I evolved and I figured well it's okay I'll get to evolve the stuff I missed out on after the Ankylosaurus fight but no, you can't. You can change the stripes. There's the flames. It doesn't really look that good when you have the armor on. You can't really see that it's flames then. There's the stars. I like the stars. Okay. Guess I'm just gonna have to wing it and like play it as well as I can. Well, I, feel, I, I need to mix strong and light ones, because I, I don't have a light, light, light combo. Somehow the dinosaurs I picked don't get that. Round one, fight! Combo. Okay, that was bullshit. I was clearly do I, I had clearly dodged out of the way.
Ow. Round two. Fight. I can't even win them now, like when it's on my own side. I don't know what to do, honestly. Like... There's no battling on evil even ground here, it's just... Dino Dino okay, I'll simply win that one. Again, it seems arbitrary, so I'm not doing anything differently. Hits me when it when I dodge every time, which you know seems like a major flaw to dodge, but you know who cares? It's the final boss. It should be overpowered or whatever. And you have to rewatch the entire introduction thing again because you can't just have a retry option. I wonder if the final dinosaur is based on what you picked. So like this is meant to be like... Like it's, it's a big purple... Uh, like bipedal carnivore because I am one. Probably not. Yes, just tell me. I mean, it's not a spoiler. If I, I could just pick Barry here and find out. Like, let me do that right now. No, it's not. Domination. Allosaurus versus Did the game crash? What happened?
Okay, so like if I picked an Ankylosaurus, it would be different. But since the Baryonyx is also a bipedal theropod, then it doesn't work. Oh, right, I forgot about this glitch. I actually know how to fix this glitch. I'm gonna do it right away. Uh, there we go. It's the dolphin texture filter. Oh, I guess I can show the opening cutscene. I didn't show that earlier. I was going to show this, but uh, I thought it would loop if you stood on the title screen, but it doesn't. Or at least not for as long as I waited. So, um, it just didn't play. Oh look, there's the Archasaurus, or whatever they call it. So it's clearly the one you're intended to fight. Makes sense, because like the player, the first dinosaur you can pick, like out of the various dinosaurs, is T-Rex. So that would obviously be the same one. <sighs> I do like the idea of like the final dinosaur being this fake dino, though. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Shame that the game doesn't like play better. Or at the very least doesn't have a better non motion control based special thing. Or let you just change your stats so I could put them into health instead of having to rely on the strike thing. It's odd that they don't say the name of the dinosaur though. Like they clearly wrote them into the game, you know, it's not randomly generated, so... Why not? Round one. Fight. Okay. I do wonder if I'm losing some of um, my potential edge from playing with the D-pad instead of the analog stick, because you're supposed to play with an analog stick for full 3D movement. I was like, that's not gonna matter much because, I mean, the Wii Animal Stick is terrible. Uh, <laughs> Dino Plant. Dino That went terrible. Round two. Fight. Dino Clash. Super oh, come strike. on. I'm actually gonna pause. I'm gonna set my um, analog stick back. There we go. Let's see if the extra three dimensions of or three sixty three degrees of movement helps at all. I mean I doubt it, but you never know. Okay, I can move much faster now actually, so maybe this does help. Why I would be moving faster just by having an analog stick? That seems completely arbitrary. Allosaurus. 
Come to this is over. This is a it's, a it's a stream that took over two hours. I was like, yeah, I'm just doing a short stream tonight because I don't want to do a long one after last night's three-hour stream. Like playing through an arc like just one arcade mode in a dinosaur fighter will be perfect. I should have picked Warpath. going so bad now like like I can't win if like if it's gonna start start on the mega strike when I'm not even up to the regular strike don't like the mirrored background they've used for this uh, background shot I can tell where the texture is mirrored it looks bad Round one. Fight. Bulldozer. I did it again where like I dodge but the CPU just hits me anyway. Even though the dodge is like automated, like you don't you don't, you can't just like you can't fake you can't like Round two. you can't fail a dodge. It's just predetermined how you will dodge. You can you can put the direction in, sure, but it's only like backwards or forwards. And the actual like length to jump is always the same. I still don't get why they make the arena smaller if, like, there's no ring out. Because, like, it's not like you have different ranges you want to stand at anyway. You will always have a ring, a, 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 like, the ability to be far enough away to not get hit, as well as the ability to hit. So, like, it doesn't change anything. Combo. Are you for real? Please tell me it's mine. Yes. That's not gonna matter because I'm so I'm just about to die anyway, so like I'm 
domination. Me and the sexy, this is the faster way to start up the battle. Tonight is the first night on Jurassic June that Levy, are, Levy and my, my younger cat hasn't been making noises and trying to get through the door. She's just been sleeping in the sofa. She must really be tired. Well, she was out a lot today, so that makes sense, actually. Out on a leash with supervision. We're not letting our cats walk about like strays, don't worry. We're very responsible cat owners. You all have a lot of experience owning cats. Well, I don't like the term owning cats, because it's like owning a family member. Like, you don't own them, you live with them. It's a difference, but, you know. The term is cat owner, I guess. No matter what I feel about that. That's the other thing, like, if I do get into A attacks, which are the easier ones to get in, I need to finish with a B, which is hard to get in. So it's like, it's kind of designed to not work out for me. Please! Oh. And that's different too, because not all dinosaurs have that exact combo order. Some can just press A three times, which is just so unfair. No, I don't watch any stuff like that, because it spoils things. I already got spoiled what um, Ida and uh, uh, Evelyn's... Uh, is that her name? Evelyn? Well, what their mother looks like. Um, but I don't watch tr like season trailers, and I don't watch any episode guides or anything like that. Um, because it, there's always just too many spoilery details there. Like, I would like to. I like trailers. I love, like, the art of making a good trailer. But people who make trailers don't seem to understand that sometimes there's plot beats that are more fun to find out by yourself. Yeah, episode guys, like summaries of episodes. Precures ha Precure have them, for example. Like always, every episode has like a pretty rich detail of what the episode will be about weeks ahead of time. Well, they're actually you actually read those, not watch them. You know, people do videos of them, talk about them ahead of time. Movie trailers, I tend to watch. They tend to not be as bad as TV show trailers, in my opinion. Um, but they definitely are some, there are definitely some, um, um, bad ones that come to mind. Like, there was a, there was a remake of The Invisible Man recently, it was like, it's a horror film about, like, an abusive ex-boyfriend or husband or something that becomes invisible and starts harassing, the like, his partner again. Please let me get the Clash. And like, the trailer starts and it's like, like, is she just imagining that that her boyfriend, ex-boyfriend is hit back, back to harass her? Or is it actually happening? And then like the second half of the trailer is just like, oh yeah, it's happening. And I'm just like, why, but, wouldn't you, like, would, why, why did you ruin your own plot twist? Like, the start of the trailer proposes this as a mystery, whether or not, like, it's going to be the case that she's just like, you know, because of the trauma, like, can't shake the idea that he's just dead. Um, and then they just reveal it, and it's like, what the fuck? You just made the movie less interesting for me to watch. And this, that was the announcement trailer, and I'm just like... I hear the movie's good, I'm sure it is, it looked good, but like... 
I watched that trailer and for the first half I was like, wow, this is gonna be interesting to see. I wanna like watch it and see if I can figure out if it's real or not before the reveal happens. And then the trailer's just like, oh yeah, it's real. Oh come on, I'm really gonna die to a regular knockout. Is it mine? No! Mega <sighs> no! <laughs> I thought I had it! <sighs> this is also why I hate two rounds in fighting games. I, I always set it to one round if I can. So it makes no sense. Why would you have two rounds? Like, very rarely are fighting games like depict. Actually, can I change that? Ugh, that's not what I wanted to pick. No, I can't. Um. Like, unless it's like a proper martial arts tournament with like rules so that indicate there should be multiple rounds. Why would there be multiple rounds? You're fighting to the death. Why would there be multiple rounds? It bothers me. So I always set it to one round if possible. Because I was holding up there, and the dodge went down anyway. That's how, like, completely random it is, like... I read the how, how, like, little control you have over the dodge. So yeah, it's not that I'm, like, dodging wrong, it's just... The dodge is pretty much automatic. You just have to hope that you did it right. This is a pretty decent start. Dino class. Dino strike. Ah. Backseat gaming, I think, is what you're thinking about. No, it's fine, honestly. Like, in general, I don't mind backseat gamers unless it's, like, telling me stuff that I clearly already know. Oh, wow, I can't believe I actually got that because I forgot about- I forgot how the game worked for a second. I forgot I had a QTE to do, and I just, like, dropped the controller, like, in my palm, as if it was a computer doing it. Like, oh, cutscene time. I can take a break now. <laughs> yeah, like, unless it's someone going like, Oh, you should pick up this weapon and go over there on the map. I'm like, fuck you, I'm the one playing. But like, when it's just stuff like questions or just tips on how, if it's something I'm actually struggling with, then I don't mind at all. Shit. Ow. This bulldozing me again. Ow, my fingers are hurting. Okay. Ah oh, shit, that stage has her hit real hard. Hey, yo. 
No! Why am I not doing the Dino Clash thing? No, 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 And I've lost all my flow. Like, I wasn't doing great that last time, but I was like, kind of edging closer and closer to maybe winning. And now I'm just like, nope, there you go, knockout. <laughs> Fuck cares, this game sucks. I could've done a save state. Just cheated my way to victory, it would have felt better. Can't fucking believe this is gonna be another three hour stream. It's fucking combat, combat giants. This is the exact opposite of your Hill Hunter yesterday, where I was like, yeah, this game is pretty bad, but I'm gonna have a good time with it, and I ended up actually loving the game. Here I'm like, oh yeah, this is gonna be a fun little short game I can just knock out in an hour, maybe. Oh, the controller just unplugged itself again. You know. Of course it did. If I had known it would be this fucking bad, I would have probably just mapped it to the keyboard, even though that would just click all the time and be really annoying. Yeah, we're not doing this. Domination. Oh fuck no. Like, Primal Rage is a great game. Um, well no it's not actually, it's a pretty bad game. It's a pretty sloppy fighting game, but that's a regular 2D fighter. I can't do those. Like... Uh, I'm so bad. Like, I, maybe I will play it, but like, it, that would be another three hour stream. Like... 3D fighters are like the only kind of fighter I normally can play. Like, I can play Virgil Fighter, I can play Tekken, I can play The Other Alive, I can play Soul Calibur. Um, Street Fighter? No. Absolutely not. I'm terrible at it. King of Fighters? No. Definitely not. Ah. Like, the only, the only 2D fighter I'm decent at is Melty Blood. Which is strange. 
because that's considered a pretty like hardcore like fighting gamer bro style game so you'd think I would be worse at that than the other ones that are more casual no for some reason Melty Blood is the one is the 2D fighter I'm the best at that's not to say I am great at Melty Blood because I would never suggest that I would never be able to beat any decent player in Melty Blood but it is the one that I'm best at in terms of 2D fighters um, I don't know why it just something about how that game plays just works better for me yeah this is uh, the bust but any other ones, like like, like Blaze Blue, I can't do Blaze Blue. I played it a bunch and I hate it. Like, I cannot play it. Can't do Street Fighter. Can't do uh, Guilty Gear. Uh, can't do any of the Arcworks um, 2D fighters or pretend to do two, two, 2D fighters. Um, uh, Mortal Kombat? Some of them. Some of them, but even there, I prefer the 3D Mortal Kombat. Honestly, like Mortal Kombat 4 is the one I like the best. Specifically, Mortal Kombat Gold on the Sega Dreamcast. That was the one I played like the most. Combo. Yeah, I don't know. There's just something Combo. about 2D games that I'm not good at in general. Like, yeah, it's the same thing with platformers. Oh my god. I'm terrible at 2D platformers. But 3D platformers? I can hold my own in. I, I can't do um, Skullgirls. I can do Dive Kick. <laughs> And like some random bad fighting games, like Rise of the Robots, I'm okay at. I still don't know how to initiate the Dino Clash. It seems completely arbitrary, and apparently this wasn't even mine. I'm doing worse now than before. Oh, tur uh, Turtles Tournament Fighter. Um. I actually prefer the the uh, multiplayer mode for um, Turtles in Time, uh, which was kind of strange. Did the game freeze again? It did. So like, there was a um, multiplayer mode, a com like a versus mode in Turtles in Time for Super Nintendo. Uh, which supported up to four players, and it was, um, you know, it was the beat em up stuff, but versus. Uh, Bushido Blade is pretty fun. I hate that it says A Ubisoft, it's an Ubisoft. We didn't run a lot of games, um, didn't buy a lot of games either as a kid, but once we rented uh, Rogue Squadron, that was when we rented Majora's Mask. Hello, Sora. Um, we definitely need some super intent against. Oh yeah, uh, Crash Dummies. Um, the real Crash Dummies had a game for the Super Nintendo. I could never beat that game. I got stuck on one of the early stages, maybe even the first stage. You know, this is confusing.
What the fuck? My cat has woken up now. I swear, I swear if the cat's gonna start being annoying as well, then I will just lose it. I have never had a modified cons. No, that's not true. Actually. Oh, and there she goes, being annoying. Let me stop. I don't have time for it. Apparently that didn't count as a combo for some reason. Let be. Oh, my fucking god. Yeah, yeah, I know. Again, I dodge, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, sure, why the fuck not? I should just take a. S you know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take a. 
there. I've saved a state here so I can just quickly load the start of the fight instead of having to go through the menu and load the screens. The boss isn't even that strong, it's just that it can dodge everything I do and I can't dodge anything it does. Yeah, I'm not gonna save scum, but like, if it's just to reset the round, I think it's fine. Cause it takes a ridiculous long time to just get back to playing the game and it's really frustrating me. Oh my god. Like, I would not- I can like just do that. And start. Fight. <sighs> of course I missed the third part of the combo, so it doesn't count. Combo. This combo system is terrible by the way, like it doesn't work at all. It's supposed to be a simplified combat system for kids, and it's like less forgiving than your average fighting game system. Because it's not about button inputs, it's about hits. And it's just arbitrary. Like, I'm guessing it would be more fine if you played against other people, but in ter terms of like the AI, it's just completely broken because, like, the AI will always get it right and you will always get it wrong. So, like, um, let's do it. I don't know what, this, what the quick key is, I'm just gonna do that. Fight. Again, I dodge, it doesn't matter. Control is about to unplug itself again as well. Fight. Oh, of course that doesn't count as a hit. I needed just that, of course. Oh, but all of those count, sure. I'm sorry, but like, I'm not allowed to use any of the attack than be there. There's the only combo that exists. Why the fuck does it not consider it a hit when I'm that close? Thank you. Oh fuck you! This is just, like, like, it's a joke. The entire game is a fucking joke. This is like the Turok final boss fight again, but worse. At least then I understood what I was doing wrong. You know, after the first half hour. Turns out I wasn't doing anything wrong, but you know. Except not knowing that the knife allowed me to run faster. Because the game never told me that, but you know. How is the computer able to dodge both all the fucking stage hazards and all of my attacks and also land all of its combos when I can't do any of those three things? Like I know the answer is because it's the computer and the computer can cheat as much as it wants without any repercussions but like... It's a game for kids. 
I can't imagine the motion controls working would have made this that much easier, because the motion controls I got mostly down now. Dino Dino oh, fuck off. Saves come. I'm gonna do an additional save file in case I want to save scum, but I'm gonna try to avoid doing it because it's not fun to save scum. Even though this isn't fun to play, like according to the rules either right now. The control room plugged itself right. again. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I am gonna save scum. On that one, but only because the controller unplugged itself. Fight. I haven't even lost a fight yet, so it's like it's not that much of save scumming. Well I'm sure if someone watches back the archive, someone's gonna complain that I'm save scumming. Well, the game is the main scumbag. Super there, see there, it's it's okay now. The game has already done all the stuff that it did before I saved scum, so it's fine. Just at this time, controller is still still plugged in, giving me, you know, it entertaining the idea that I might be able to win. I won't, but you know. Super strike. Theoretically, I could. Oh, pfft. Wow. Well, you know... No, oh, again. Who the fuck cares about dodging? It's not like it actually works. Oh, it unplugged itself again! Final round. I do not understand how I'm supposed to dodge. Dino Mega strike. I'm dead here, right? Like, there's no way I'm not dead from this mega strike. Now I'm just straight up, um, save saves coming. No, it's Arkonosaurus with CH, like, yeah, it's been saying that since before we fought. I mentioned it earlier several times. I said that the announcer doesn't know its name, but the game knows its name. It's not randomly generated, as I said, it's Arkonosaurus. Fuck off. Fight. Dino Clan. Super Strike.
how the fuck was he able to just dodge that attack? I was so... Like, I was attacking so far ahead of his dodge. Levy, I will... <sighs> Cat! Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! <sighs> yes, I saved Scum. I don't fucking care. Cause seriously... It's not entertaining. For me, for anyone else, if I'm going to just get more and more angry like this from playing so like fuck it save scumming in that kind of situation i'm perfectly okay with because the alternative is a worse stream and this is already a really bad stream because i'm so angry and that's not good content do i not even get a cutscene there's no there's no ending cutscene I did all that for nothing? Did I did I unlock like some special customization or something? Was that just to unlock the Dilophosaurus? No, this is the same stuff as before. Should have gone with that color, I prefer that one, but oh well. No, nothing new. Wow. Wow, they couldn't even just give like a special winning pose or something. What a piece of shit game. I'm sorry, I should have just skipped streaming today like I originally suggested. This wasn't fun for anyone. I apologize. Um. I'm trying to stick to um, uh, except for shooters, like regular first person shooters, I'm trying to stick to just one game per genre per week. So there won't be another dinosaur fighting game this week. There will be one next week. Um, that's also why there won't be any, any rail shooter this week, because we already had Dino Strike. And then next week we're doing um, uh, Jurassic Park Sega Arcade. Um, but I don't know what we're doing tomorrow, um, it's possible we're skipping tomorrow because, um, on the 5th there are some video game streams, and depending on when they are hour-wise, I might want to be rested for those. Um, but again, I'm sorry, this stream did not go as planned, and it's partially my fault, it's mostly my fault, because of not knowing that I would have to change the control setups, not realizing how strange this game was control-wise and combat-wise. If I had known, I would have picked another game, I would have picked Warpath or something, because Warpath I know how to play. I mean, I would probably struggle with that as well, but... Not as much as this, I hope. Um, if you want to see a bonus thing uh, from yesterday, I actually uploaded a video earlier today comparing all the different versions of versions of Jurassic the Hunted, and it turns out I was actually I, I got some things wrong when I talked about it yesterday because uh, I said that Top Shot added stuff like subtitles 
and change the voice lines. The changed voice lines are actually in all of the Wii versions and also the PS2 version. So the PS2 and Wii version has a different script from the 360 and PS3 version outside of like the uh, regular cutscenes. Those are the same. Um, but like the first person walking around dialogue is different in the PS2 and Wii version. And both Wii versions have subtitles. The PS2 version, no subtitles. PS3, no subtitles. 360, no subtitles. But both Wii versions have subtitles. <laughs> so that's fun. Um... But yeah, check that out. I put up a video showing it off, showing the graphical differences. It's really cool seeing a game run on like such vastly differently powered hardware. Um, it's a shame we don't really get to see that anymore now that the consoles are much more closer together in terms of what they can put out. And uh, yeah, I will see you either tomorrow night or later in the weekend.